what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we are here in tasmania australia checking out some best places to visit i know this 2022 guide and we in 2023 now but you know this is what i can find i've seen a lot but this is what i, I try to find where i can see a, a good amount of things you know not just like one area stuff like that but this is what i could find we finna check this out uh, I have some of y'all requests that I do Tasmania next and we here so y'all hit that subscribe button let's check it out. It is located to 40 km to the south of the Australian mainland, separated from it by the Bay Strait. The state encompasses the main island of Tasmania, the 26th largest island in the world, Wow! and the surrounding thousand islands. Almost half of Tasmania's land mass lies in national parks and world heritage areas, with sparkling alpine lakes wild rivers, and mist-cloaked peaks. If you're looking for a unique way to arrive on the island, you can travel from Melbourne to Davenport by sea on the spirit of Tasmania. Best of all, you can bring your car with you. If you choose this option, check out a Tasmania attractions map and routes for road trip. Whichever type of vacation you're looking for, plan your trip with our video of the top tourist attractions oh, nice. and things to do in Tasmania. Before we get started, Make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair Cradle National Park Mountain. In the north of the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area, Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park is the jewel in the crown of the state's many natural mm -hmm. wonders. Glacier-carved crags, glittering lakes, beach forests, alpine heathland, and jagged dolerite peaks including 1600 meter high mount also the highest point on the island it kind of looked very dry out here too are some of its most breathtaking features hiking in cradle mountain lake st Clair national park is legendary favorite day walks include they the lake dove color. walk with magnificent views of cradle mountain and the wine river cradle walk mountain. a six kilometer circuit through dense forests if you're wondering what to do in tasmania for a week a hiking trip here could more than fill your days. Number two, Wait Hobart. So was that all of it? Like going from all this to this? Is it where it leads up to? I don't think it really explained that. A hiking trip here could more than fill your days. Number two. Okay, if it lead up to that, that looks really nice right there. Lead up to that water. Because uh, some of that was a little dry, but... This water looked beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Hobart, Tasmania's capital has Hobart. transformed itself from a sleepy backwater. With okay, this, now I, I was seeing a lot of uh, videos related to Hobart, but I know somebody was like, don't just look at Hobart, just, you know, check out all of it, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I chose this video, because I think most people were visiting Hobart, if I'm not, you know, from uh, just some other selections of Hobart. Video. Tasmania's capital has transformed itself from a sleepy backwater with a turbulent convict history oh, to a hub of cutting-edge culture. Its beautiful setting between the sea and the soaring peak of Mount Wellington has, no doubt, inspired many of its talented artists in all genres. The city's waterfront precinct buzzes with hip cafes and restaurants, and you can eat around the world on the restaurant strip in North Hobart. Mm. Natural attractions are also never far away from the city bus. Climb Cunnany slash Mount Wellington to really okay. appreciate Hobart's picturesque setting and gaze out at the World Heritage Wilderness in the distance. Number 3. Port oh, Arthur Historic not. Site. The port old Arthur. convict settlement of Port Arthur offers a so- That's interesting. We actually have a Port Arthur, Texas, I believe. Sobering look at Tasmania's I've turbulent never been. past. About an hour's drive southeast of Hobart, the ruins oh, are part no. of the Australian convict site's World Heritage property. Here, in 1830, mm -hmm. Governor Sir George Arthur established a brutal penal settlement where convicts were forced to hew coal in the mines and fell timber. Oh, wow. In spite of a devastating fire in 1897, the remains of many buildings still stand, 18, 19, including the guard tower, church, model prison, and... That kind of looked like... I mean, I don't know what they've done to it still to this day, but that kind of looked like it held up good. Still... It but I don't, the material they used back then is definitely stronger than now. Including the guard tower, church, model prison, 
and hospital. Wow. Admission tickets give you two days to explore all the attractions here. Dang. And they also include an introductory walking tour and 25-minute harbor cruise. Number four, Mount Wellington. 1270 Mount meter Wellington. high Mount Wellington is a constant reminder of the unspoiled wilderness that lies on the doorstep of this waterfront capital. Follow a winding 21-kilometer mountain road to the pinnacle, often sprinkled with snow, for breathtaking views over Hobart. At the summit, boardwalks lead to panoramic viewpoints, and a pavilion displays old photographs of Hobart and Mount Wellington. The mountain is a popular spot for biking and hiking through the temperate rainforest. Really? And the distinctive organ pipes, the Dolrite Cliff, is renowned for its excellent rock climbing. Standing atop the summit and admiring the sweeping views oh, is nice. one of the best free things to do in Tasmania. Number 5. Tasman National Park On the Windlash Tasman Peninsula, National park. 56 kilometers east of Hobart, Tasman oh, National wow. Park protects some of Australia's most spectacular coastal scenery. If you look at a map of Tasmania, this park cloaks wow. the far southeast tip of the state, with nothing but ocean between here and Antarctica. That's almost, I've seen this in, that's like I've seen this in a movie. It's a place of raw beauty. Towering Dolrite Cliffs plunge 300 meters to the sea. Mm. Islands shimmer just offshore. Waterfalls tumble to the sea. And contorted rock formations Whoa. wear the relentless forces of wind and water. The Blowhole and Tasman Arch are two of the park's most famous features. Other top that's sites include cool. Remarkable Cave, Waterfall Bay, and the Devil's mm. Kitchen, a collapsed rock arch. Wildlife also scores top building here. Apart from many species of rare birds, the area plays host to Australian fur seals, dolphins. A popular oh, way wow. to explore this stunning national that. park is by hiking the Three Capes track. You can wow. also explore some of the top attractions by car, or different. hop aboard a boat to glimpse the soaring cliffs from sea level, or cast a line. Fishing wow. can be excellent here. Number six. Cataract That's Gorge, pretty cool. a mere 15 minute stroll along the river from Launceston city center. The wild and romantic Cataract Gorge is a deep chasm carved over many centuries by the South Esk River. Offering striking scenery, the gorge is one of the top attractions in Launceston. Precipitous walking that path, is cool. first built in the 1890, cut wow. into the cliff face on both sides of the gorge, offering heart-stopping views of the river far below. The less adventurous this bridge don't look too, like, too far above this water this right here. can hop aboard the world's longest single-span chairlift. Look at that. And the King's Bridge and Gorge Restaurant also afford fine views. On the south side, that water you can moving. relax at a cafe and paddle in the bush fringe swimming pool. At cliff grounds on the northern side lies a beautiful Victorian garden replete with ferns, look at that strutting water. peacocks, and wallabies. River cruises offer another perspective of this popular attraction. If you're looking for things to do in northern Tasmania, Cataract Gorge deserves Cataract a spot Gorge. on your travel priorities. That Number 7. Moving. Richmond Bridge. About 25 kilometers northeast of Hobart, Richmond is a kind of living open-air museum. Of all the early settlements mm. in Tasmania, it presents the most complete and homogeneous picture of a Georgian colonial town. Richmond was an important military post. Inmates from the town's penal colony constructed many of nice. the buildings as well as the Richmond Bridge, which dates from 1823 and is the oldest bridge in Australia. Wow. Often seen in the background of bridge photos is the timber top St. Luke's Church with beautiful stained glass windows. This bridge still look like it's holding up real good too. Photos that is the timber 18, top St. Luke's Church with beautiful stained glass windows. Wow, it was so well constructed that the convict carpenter responsible was pardoned. Other historic highlights include Richmond Jail and the well-preserved heritage buildings of Bridge Street. Traveling with kids, one of the top Tasmania attractions for families, the old Hobart Town Model Village recreates life in the 1820s. Number eight, huh. Freycinet National Park, Freycinet. World Heritage listed. Now this Freycinet is a view. Wow. Now this is a nice view. Now this look like it's. This look like an island to itself, just about. That National is Park, a view. on Tasmania's relatively sunny east coast, is one of Australia's mm. oldest nature reserves and one of its most beautiful. Hiking the many scenic trails here is the best way to explore the park. The star of this picturesque peninsula is the perfect curve of powder white sand and azure sea at Wineglass Bay. What? 
one of the top beaches in Australia. Wander through pristine bushland to secluded bays and lookouts, or tackle the Wineglass Bay Circuit, one of Australia's top hikes. Along the way, keep a lookout for some of the many birds in the park. Black cockatoos, kookaburras, and seabirds are just some of the resident species. Take the 20-minute walk from the lookout to the southern end of Wineglass Bay to admire beautiful views of the hazards. Walk not bad. Three striking pink granite crags rising out of the sea. The peaks are best mm. photographed at sunrise and sunset when their color deepens in the golden light. Number nine, three nice caps track, starting and three ending caps. in World Heritage listed Port Arthur. The stunningly scenic three capes track slice. Is this different from what they just showed? It's through more Those than 48 like kilometers structure. of awe-inspiring wilderness in Tasman National Park. A boat delivers you to the trailhead from Port Arthur, where you'll walk along the edge of the continent with breathtaking views the of the, of the Tasman continent. Sea from the cliff top trail. Along the way, what? you'll walk through pristine eucalyptus forests and windswept heathland, see spectacular dolerite columns rising from the sea, encounter wildlife like wombats, wallabies, and echidnas, and stay in, in comfy eco-friendly cabins. Every hiker receives a guidebook with maps and notes about the journey, as well as stories to read as they sit on strategically placed benches along the track. This four-day, three-night hike is suitable for all levels of hikers. Three nights? Even children. It's one of the best things to do in Tasmania in spring, fall, or summer, although hardy hikers could also tackle it in winter if they dress appropriately. Number 10. Wow. Salamanca Place. Salamanca, Salamanca. Place, Salamanca. with its lovingly restored sandstone buildings, is a tourist hub in the heart. I was playing GeoGuessr. This looked like the place I've seen on GeoGuessr. This look is exact. I had, I know it was like a couple of weeks ago. I was on GeoGuessr and there was a place in Australia. This look is exactly Part like of Hobart's that place. historic waterfront. Built by convicts between 1835 and 1860. Whoa. These beautiful Georgian buildings were once warehouses along the commercial center of Old Hobart. Today, they house art galleries, cafes, restaurants, and shops every Saturday. Tourists and locals alike flock to the Salamanca markets, where more than 300 Salamanca. vendors sell everything from handcrafted jewelry and woodwork to fresh produce. From Salamanca Place, you can also descend Kelly Steps to Battery Point, a picturesque seaside suburb with heritage houses. Number 11, Brunny Island, Island. About 55 minutes from Hobart by car and ferry, Brunny Island is a popular day trip from the city for foodies and nature buffs. Oh, the cool island too. lies across the Don Tricasto Channel from oh, the seaside town of nice. Kettering. It's famous for its delectable gastronomic treats, that such as handmade good. chocolates, local berries, artisan cheeses, and succulent seafood. Was that a waffle and ice cream? I never thought about Plus, that combination. Local berries artisan cheeses, strawberries? and succulent seafood, that pretty good. which you can sample on island tasting tours. Oh, I South Brunny National Park, on the island's southern tip, Burning offers yeah, beautiful nice. coastal scenery, with soaring green sea cliffs, sheltered beaches, and challenging surf breaks. You can explore the park on an eco-cruise or hike the many nature trails. Nice. Keep an eye out for wildlife. Fur seals and Always fairy penguins nice. swim offshore, and wombats, wallabies, and etchedness are often spotted on land. Cape Runny mm. Lighthouse offers beautiful views of the, the surging lighthouse. southern ocean. Number 12. Mount Field National Park. About 80 kilometers from Hobart. Get? Mount Field is one of Australia's oldest national parks. Here, nice. you can explore magnificent rainforests, tall swamp gums, alpine moorland, and stunning waterfalls. Beautiful walking They're trails win beautiful. throughout the park which is often dusted with snow in the high moorlands until summer. The short Russell Falls nature walk to these triple-tiered cascades is suitable even for wheelchair users. You can okay, also hike around nice. Lake Dobson, and experienced bushwalkers have a choice of more challenging routes. One of the popular things to do in Tasmania in winter is cross-country skiing, and this is an ideal place to indulge. Skiing? Only a 90-minute drive from Hobart. In the fall, the park ignites with yellow, orange, and red-leafed trees. This is also the site where the last Tasmanian tiger was captured in 1930. If you enjoyed this Tasmanian video, tiger. give it a like and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.
Okay, okay, okay. Very, very interesting. Maybe that, maybe y'all can send me if y'all th don't think that was better. I don't think a uh, good video, but I don't think it kind of really showcased that much. I thought, you know, maybe, maybe it's the scenery type pictures and, and videos that, uh, but if y'all want to send me some more so I can check out, you know, I, I just be picking what I can find. Maybe you sent it and and I didn't see the uh the comment or something like that, but I'll check out some more if y'all would like me to. But not bad. It seemed like they got a good amount of national park, good amount of history and stuff there, you know. But I'm sure it's more to it. So um and but yeah, Tasmania, Australia, definitely can't wait to check out more. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just seeing all that Australia has to offer. So y'all hit that subscribe button. Hey, send me those recommendations. Give this video a thumbs up. Y'all be blessed, be the best, and be you. I'm out.